What's up everybody, Chat Cats Fishing here, and welcome to today's episode. Today I want to talk to you guys about the free line rig for catfish. The free line rig is a rig that you use with no sinker or no weight. It's just a free line rig, just like it sounds. And this year, specifically in the spring, summer, and fall months, I heavily relied on the free line rig to catch a lot of my catfish. If you guys have seen my videos, you should have come across quite a few videos where I was free lining for catfish on light tackle. But I want to take this time just to show you guys how I do it, why it's important, and how it can help you catch more catfish. So let me show you the rig itself. Now this is what I use, is a barrel swivel with a 20 pound leader line, and it can be anywhere from 12 to 20 inches really, and I have a kale hook. You don't have to use a kale hook. Uh, some people use circle hooks, others use J hooks. I use a kale hook. It seems to do well with the fish that I catch. And this is a 4 op kale hook. You don't have to use a leader line. You can just use a hook straight to the main line if you want. But I use 20 pound leader because it helps me pull the catfish in a little bit better. Because um, I'm typically fishing below Chickamauga Dam or any dam by TVA here in the Tennessee Valley. Uh, so it just helps me better kind of manhandle the fish a little bit. But this is also the rod that I use. I have a few of these rods, the Ugly Stick Shakespeare rod, and it's a medium action. And I use 10 pound line. Uh, so 10 pound main line with a 20 pound leader. So I typically go 10 pounds heavier on my leader line when light tackle drifting for catfish. And that's just, a, like I said, help me manhandle the fish a little bit and getting the fish to the boat. Typically when uh, you free line for catfish, uh, you get a lot of eaters. I, I've used raw chicken, chicken breast to catch uh, the majority of my catfish when free lining, uh, but you can use cup bait, you can use live bait. Uh, typically when I go bass fishing, I'll use a live shiner and I'll just have a number, number three bait holder J hook and put the live shiner on it and free line below the dam. Uh, so there's, there's quite a few variations on how you can do that, uh, but for me, I like doing the leader and I have a lot of these already made. I have maybe five or six of them in my tackle box, so if I break off or I get snagged, I have these already made, so I save time um, by not having to tie the hook and the barrel swivel to the line. You can use this rig uh, throughout the year. It doesn't have to be in the spring, summer, fall. You can use it in the winter months, but I encourage you guys to use it when there's current. Uh, if you're bank fishing and there's no current, it may not do a whole lot for you. Uh, the idea behind the free line rig is for the bait to be moving in the water. So I typically do better with it when I have some current. And I'll use my trolling motor on my boat and I'll just kind of steer the direction of the boat and I've done really well with the free line rig. Uh, it's just something I've kind of fallen in love with. And uh, you can catch catfish from one to 50 pounds. I think the biggest one that we pulled uh, was 51 pounds this past summer. And it was on this rod, 10 pound line with a 20 pound leader. Now you don't have to use light tackle you can use heavy tackle and free line as well. And here's how I do that. I'll take one of my anchor rods and uh, when I anchor fish, I typically use an 80 pound leader line with anywhere from 30 to 50 pound main line. Take this for instance, same idea as the other one. I have a hook 
This is my leader line. Do a barrel swivel. Now this is the sliding rig. Slider sinker rig is what they will call it, or just a simple, you know, Carolina rig. And you would put your weight in this dual lock snap right here. But if you want a free line, which I've done this with heavy tackle, you just take off the sinker and you put your bait on the hook and you cast it out. And it's pretty much the same principle. Uh, your bait is drifting or moving in the water, whether you're drifting or trolling, whatever you're doing. And it has a good presentation to the catfish. So I highly recommend you guys give it a try if you've never free lined for catfish. It's fun. I like doing it on light tackle. I like experiencing the fight with a big fish on light tackle. Let me show you how I tie it so you have an idea. So you have your main line right here. And I use the improved clinch knot when I tie my main line to a barrel swivel. And I use polymer knots going to the hook. Now this is an improved clinch knot though, but uh, typically I will use a polymer knot. Cut off the tail end. So this is what you got. This is what it will look like. Hook, your leader line, your barrel swivel, and then your main line. And so this specific case, it's 10 pound main line, the barrel swivel to a 20 pound leader to a four aught kale hook. And I'll use that most of the time when I'm free lining for catfish, especially when I'm light tackle drifting. Now, some of you may ask, does the bait hit the bottom? Well, it just depends. Uh, this past summer when I was drifting below Chickamauga Dam, it was on average eight to 10 feet and it would usually drag on the bottom. It just depends on the depth of where you're fishing and the, the bottom, what the bottom's like of where you're fishing. It could be a sandy bottom, it could be a rocky bottom, it could be mud, just depends. And you'll just have to kind of experiment and uh, see what kind of action you get with the free line rig. Um, but like I said, the idea behind it is that it's a very good presentation. The bait itself uh, just has a different presentation as if you were just anchor fishing, because when you're anchor fishing or you're fishing from the bank, most cat fishermen will use a sinker, bank sinker, whatever, cast it out, it sits on the bottom, and then you're just waiting for the fish to get there. Well, the free line rig, just drifting, uh, that bait is, is as natural as possible. You don't have any weight or any sinker whatsoever to keep that weight on the bottom. It's just naturally moving as if the current is just taking it. So, I just recommend you guys give it a try. If you have any questions, just comment below. I'll be sure to answer those. And as always, guys, give a thumbs up for this video, and we'll see you later.